back. So uh, today we're going to talk about uh, part and the percent of the uh, percent proportion. So let's go back to our other one. So 10 was to buy a pair of pants that really cost $50. Expensive. Today the pants are sell for 60% of the original price. Very nice. How much will Chen save? How much will Chen have to pay for the pants? You can either draw a picture if that's what you feel like doing, a percent bar picture, or you can use the percent proportion. Since last time we, present, we uh, practiced the percent proportion, let's practice that one. So what is percent proportion? It is part to whole equal percent per 100. Part to whole equal percent per 100. So the pants regularly cost $50. That is the whole price. So this is our sell for 60%. What is 60% of $50? So I'm going to reverse this and switch it around. So can 100 be broken down to 50? It can be. I scale it down by dividing by 2, and I get $30. So $30 is the saving. That is part of the price you save. But if the original price of the pants was 50, what is the sell price? How much is Chen going to escape this? 50 minus 30 is $20. That is the sell price. So originally he was going to pay $50. Because of a 60% discount, he is saving part of it. So he's saving $30. What now is the price? $20. So let's go to our next one. So let's see when you will have to know how to use percents and when you have to know how to use a part and whole. Imagine you're in a restaurant and the bill came out at $32 for tea. I can't read the rest of the stuff. Tea and all kinds of food. And you leave an $8 tip. What percent did you leave behind for the server? Um, people of my parents' generation, 15% is sufficient. It's nothing wrong with that. Uh, for quality service. But now, people in my generation, it's more of 20% you leave for good service. So it depends on uh, how, what you want to leave. So I want to see how generous this person is. So what is the percent proportion again? Part to whole equal percent per 100. Part to whole equal percent per 100. Again, if you did not like this, you are more than welcome to draw a picture, a percent bar. There is nothing wrong. I'll show you why the percent bars sometimes are very, very easy. We have 0%, 100%. The total bill was $32. 0% is $0. 50% is in the middle, we know that, and that's $16. So where would you find $8? $8 will be between 0 and $16. Is it, what, what percent is between 0 and 50%? 25%. So $8 is leaving 25% behind out of $32. That is very generous. That's really very generous. Most I ever leave is about 20%. Um, if you so let's try this one. So what if you did not like drawing a percent bar? You rather just use a percent proportion. So let's see this one. So we have $32 is the whole price. You left part behind, you left $8 behind. What percent is that? So can 32 be built up to 100? It can be, but you know what? I want to simplify this right now in order to... Can we break down 832? Divide both, is 416, uh, 2, 8, isn't it? 1 fourth, divide both numbers by 8. So you get 1 fourth. Can 1 fourth, can 4 be built up to 100? Yes, it can by 25. So $8 is part of $32. $8 is 25% of $32. So that's leaving 25% tip behind. So again, you can use the percent bar or you can use the percent proportion. Either one is preferable. I personally like this one, but there's I also like this one. Actually, I actually like both. It just depends on some of the problems. So part to whole equal uh, a percent per 100. So, Let's go to the next question. Every month, Mr. Joe gets a haircut. I need a haircut. It costs $5 per haircut. And someone actually laughed at me and said, you only pay $5 for a haircut? If you ever go down Mason, there's all these places for a haircut for uh, $3.99. So yes, I'm a guy. I mean, how much can you mess up a hair here? You just shave it, and it grows back in less than a month. If Mr. Joe leaves a $1 tip, what percent did he tip the hair stylist? 
So I left one dollar right here. Hmm, is there a pattern here? Two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. Wait, isn't this breaking into fifths? So that must be 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. So a dollar is leaving 20% behind. So if I had a haircut for $5 and I leave, give him a dollar tip additional, uh, give him a dollar tip, that's like giving him a 20% tip. So uh, let's use a percent proportion. So the whole haircut costs $5. I left a $1 tip. What percent? Can you build this up? You build it up by 20, that's why you get 20%. Wow. The percent proportion is so much faster, so much, so much efficient. I like the percent proportion. All right, next one. Of the 100 guests invited to a wedding, 154 attended the wedding. So there are 200 guests. So we know 50% is 100 people. We know 75% would be about 150. So 154 attended a wedding. So it's going to be a tad bit more than 75%. I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes picture form is not very exact. You can do a good approximate, but you might not get the exact answer. So let's use the percent proportion by the exact one. So there are 200 people invited to the wedding. That's the whole thing. Part of the wedding is 154. So, how do you, are you going to build it up or break it out? We're going to break it down by dividing by 2. Divide by 2. What's 154 divided by 2? 77%. So, 77% attended the wedding. That's 154 is 77% of 200. So, if you look at this picture, 154 right there, it is more than half of 200, it's more than three quarter of it, it is 77% of it. The memory card or Melcher's digital camera can hold 400 pictures. Melcher took 96 pictures, what percent did she use? So we know 50% is right here, that's going to be 200. We know 25% is 100. So 96 picture will be somewhere right here. If I had to take a guess, I know it's less than 25%. It's either 24, 23, or 22%. So we have to figure out which one it is. So, uh, so we're going to see which one it is. So uh, I'm going to use the percent proportion. So we know uh, it's 96 pictures out of 400 pictures. Do we build it up or break it out? We need to break it down by 4. By 4. What's 96 divided by 4? I believe it's 24%. So it is correct. I guess estimate 23, 24, and it was 24%. And let's try another question. If the sell price is $27 and the regular price is $45, how much is the discount? So if I pay $45, but they say it's on sale for $27, how much is my discount? If I subtract this, my discount would be $18. Because $27 the sell price plus $18 the discount makes a total of $45. So what fraction of the regular price is this discount? They want us to find a percent of this. So the whole price is 45. Part of price is 27. I need to find a percent. Can 45 be built up to 100? It can be, but let's see if we can break this down and use easier numbers, workable numbers. I divide both numbers by 9. Divide both numbers by 9. I get 3 fifth. Now, can 5 be built up to 100 by 20? by 20, 60%. So, if something costs $45 and you save, discount is $18, you save 60% of it. Is this correct? Uh, what percent of the regular price is the discount? I feel like it's not correct. I don't know why it's not correct, but 
Let's see. Stop, stop, stop. It's not correct. I did not read this correctly. I did not read this correctly. This is what happens when you try to do this on a first, uh, first video. So let's go back. Part, uh, the regular price is $45. I knew it's not correct. I knew it's not going to be 60% because if you look at the picture, is this discount more than half or less than half? I used the wrong number on this one. I could see this one is less, so I knew something was wrong here. At least I knew it was reasonable using my estimation skill. So what is the disc is saying? What percent of the regular price is the discount? I didn't read the question. I just quickly saw I didn't read it. So what is this? $18 is the part. They want you to find what percent is $18 to $45. Oh my goodness, can't even read. How embarrassing. So again, can 45 be built up to 100? No, it cannot. We need to break this down. Divide both numbers by 9. So that's 2 fifth. Now can I build this up? Yes, I can. I can build it up by 20 and I get 40%. I knew that's correct. So if there was a sign above a $45 item and says 40% off, you will have a discount of $18. All right, let's try one more. A pair of pants is on sale for 20% off the regular price. If the regular price is $42, what is the amount of discount? You could look at this picture. So if you look at here, you know it's pretty low. If I had to say, if I broke it into fifths, I could divide that by fifth and figure out what it is. So I don't know, I'll just say $8 is my guess for now. I'm just guessing because I know 50% is $21 and 25% is like $10.50. So I'll say $8. I'm just estimating now. But I'm going to use my percent proportion because I feel like I'd rather use this one. So I know it's going to sell for 20% off. That's percent. If the regular price is $42, regular price is $42, is that part of it or the whole? That's the whole. So we need to find the saving, the discount, part of the price that you will not be paying. So you know I'm going to reverse this. You don't have to, you don't want to, but I think it does help to reverse it. Can 100 be broken down to 42? It can be. You know what? Um, I want to use easier numbers. So I'm going to break this down to 2 tenths or 1 fifth. Now. Can 5 be built up to 42? It can be, but this is where we're going to have some issues. It will not go in perfectly. You are going to have a whole number in a decimal. How many groups of 5 go into 42? How many groups of 5 go into 42? It goes in 8 times. And we have 2 as a remainder. How do you get rid of a remainder again? You don't want to change the value of 42, so you add a point zero. Bring it down. How many, put a point right there, how many groups of 5 go to 20? Four times. So, you have a saving of 840. Let's go back here. I guess pretty well. I thought it was going to be $8 saving is the discount, but it's actually $8.40. So, what is 20% of the whole price of $42? $8.40 is the saving. So, I'll try one more. Here's the last one, I promise. 40% of the class is wearing a jacket. If there are 25 students in the class, how many are wearing a jacket? What would this one be? If I had to guess, 50% is right here. That would be 12.5. Of course, it doesn't make sense. You can have 12.5 students. So this one, I would to say 10. And why is it not working? Oh, there it is. Uh, I would say 10. 10 students. If I had to take a guess, I'm just guessing. Maybe 9, maybe 8, maybe 11. I just don't know yet. Let me use my percent proportion. So I know they want us 40% of the whole class, which is 25 students, are wearing a jacket. What part of it is wearing it? So I'm going to reverse this around again. You don't have to, you don't want to, but I think it helps when you reverse it around. Can 100 be broken down into 25? Oh, that is so much easier. Divide both numbers by 4. 10 is the answer. So 10 students. Hey, I guessed correctly. Very nice. So what did we practice today? 
We practice more with the percent proportion. Part over whole equal percent over 100. So now, if they give you the part in the whole, you can find a percent by building up or breaking down. If they give you the part and the percent, you can find a whole. Or they give you the percent and the whole, you can find a part. So we are going to be practicing this um, through uh, more activities uh, throughout the classes. So this is the percent proportion.